So prostate cancer um, has been treated with androgen deprivation therapy, which is a molecularly targeted therapy designed to block the androgen receptor, and that's been used since the 1950s. So we have a lot of experience with how cancers respond to molecularly targeted therapy in that cancer in particular. And what has been observed over time is as androgen deprivation therapy has been improving, it's been getting incrementally better over the years, and we're getting better and better at blocking the androgen receptor. But what is being seen now in the clinic with the newest generation androgen deprivation therapies is the cancer sometimes relapses in a form that looks completely different from the original cancer. And when it changes to this new form, it is completely resistant to any further androgen deprivation therapy. And those cancers are typically lethal because we don't have good therapeutic options. So we really need to understand how that cancer changes, the molecular mechanisms underlying those changes, and hopefully when we learn about that, we can uh, devise therapies to, to address it. And that's part of what we discovered in this paper. So the first part of the paper, we discovered that the RB and P53 tumor suppressor genes, when they're mutated, allow prostate cancers to change from one form to another. And it changes from a form that we can currently treat with androgen deprivation therapy to a form we can't treat with androgen deprivation therapy. The second part of the paper uh, characterized the role of those two genes in this process and some of the molecular changes that occur in the cancer when these two genes are mutated. And then the third part of the paper was taking knowledge that we uh, learned from the second part to uh, attempt a therapeutic approach to prevent or reverse that change and restore the sensitivity of the cancer to androgen deprivation therapy. In preclinical models, we were successful, right? So now the next step would be to try this uh, potentially on humans in clinical trials.